Okay, how much snow can we expect this winter? Now, we're just weeks away from what we would believe to be freezing temperatures. A La Nina winter will play a big part in our snowfall. Storm Center 7 Chief Meteorologist Austin Cheney is guiding us through what we can expect. Winter in the Miami Valley. It can be exciting, intense, even dangerous at times. But in recent years, winter has been a bit of a letdown for snow fans. And now it's that time of year again to figure out what's on deck for this winter. Looking at last winter here at Storm Center 7, we called for below normal snowfall and above normal temperatures, and that's exactly what we saw. In fact, the temperatures last winter for the second straight year marked as the warmest winter on record since record keeping began at the Dayton International Airport. And we are expecting La Nina this winter. Remember, La Nina has to do with the ocean temperatures in the equatorial Pacific region off the coast of South America. It's thousands of miles away from us. When these ocean temperatures trend below average, that's a La Nina. And even though this is so far away from us, it has implications on weather across the globe and usually brings us wetter than average winters. But there's more to the forecast than which phase we are in, El Nino or La Nina. We looked back at the last five winters where we have gone from a strong El Nino into a La Nina, and that told us we could have some boom or bust to our snowfall totals, but not necessarily which way we would lean. However, the strength of the La Nina did seem to play a factor in our forecast. And when we look at the last five winters that have featured a weak La Nina, in general, the snowfall totals have have been near or below average across the Miami Valley, keeping in mind that in a typical winter, we pick up 25 inches of snow in Dayton. In addition to the La Nina phase, we looked at something called the Pacific Decadal Oscillation. That's otherwise known as PDO, and that's in talking about the temperature of the water off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. And we are expecting these temperatures to be cooler than average. That would put us in a negative PDO. What that means for you and what's seen in recent years is that would give us here at home in the Miami Valley a wetter than normal winter and a warmer than normal one. Based on our analysis, we are forecasting a winter across the Miami Valley that has above normal temperatures and slightly below normal snowfall. And that means we could generally see about 14 to 20 inches of snow. And there may be multiple stretches this winter where we are drier and even at times rather warm, but in some of the stronger winter storms, we can hopefully cash in and get some snow. And when those winter storms come through, turn to Storm Center 7. Weather coverage you can count on.